Drop a like on the video within the next five seconds or else NBA 2K22 will be trash. I would not risk it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be giving you guys the best green light jump shot on NBA 2K21. If you guys have been struggling with shooting in the park or in the stage, anything like that, you have found the right video. Make sure you guys watch this video until the very end because I do give out the most important tips and tricks to become the best and most consistent shooter on the game so you guys can shoot those big greens. You feel me? So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey man, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Clutch DF and I am back with yet another banger. Now as you guys can see from the title and thumbnail of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best green light jump shot on NBA 2K21. Now before we get into the jump shot, I need everybody to drop a like on this video if you guys are excited for NBA 2K22. Bro, I cannot wait. I'm not going to lie, chat. I have been just so excited for this game. Like, 2K21, like, bro, I've been on this shit forever, bro. I just need a brand new game, man. Let's start it off with the settings, all right? The first setting you want to use, all right? You want to go all the way to the right options and quit. You want to go to the settings. Now, the first thing people might be concerned about is the shot feedback. You know what I'm saying? People, people say, oh, my God, if you turn shot feedback off, you're going to shoot better. Bro, please do not believe anybody. That shit does not matter, all right? That shit does not matter. You can have it on. Doesn't matter, all right? I turn mine on because I like to know whether I green or if I white. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that shit makes you look comp. That's, that's bogus, bro. That's bogus. Turn your shot feedback on. Now, in the controller settings, this is what I use. I use vibration, right? Now, vibration only works when dribbling the ball, okay? They took it out for shooting because of Zens. Now, shot meter, turn that shit off. Shot aiming, turn that shit off, all right? There is no point in using these two things right here. They are absolute horse shit, okay? They suck. I'm being straight up with you guys. The only thing you want on is vibration and then, and then like you want your shot feedback on. Those are the settings that I be using for my shooting, all right? The first thing I want you guys to do is buy Jump Shot Boost, all right? So you guys come over here. Jump Shot Boost is located right in your swags, you feel me? Go get your Jump Shot Boost. Pack a 10. Um, I, uh, have on, <laughs> I have unlimited boost. <laughs> But, um, yeah, guys, make sure you guys go buy your jump shot boost. It costs a little bit of VC, so if you guys don't have VC, tough luck. I can't lie to you, bro. I don't know what else to tell you. As you guys know, NBA 2K22 is about two months away, and I know that there is people watching this video that want to do YouTube but don't have a good editing software. I'm here to tell you guys about Filmora Go, all right? Now, this is a mobile editing app that you guys can find in the App Store. You guys do not need a computer, so this is really good. When I first started doing YouTube, this was the exact app that I used to get my channel started. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to edit a video on Filmora Go. Also, to mention, Filmora Go supplies a lot of stickers, transitions, free music that is non-copyrighted, all that good stuff, so you guys don't have to worry about anything. Now, you guys can download this app in the App Store right now, or if you guys have an Android device, you can get it in the Google Play Store as well. But, make sure you guys review it and put that five-star review, because this app is amazing now look now if you guys want a discount on this app all you got to do is go to the description click the link or use the code that is right there for you now let's continue on with the video the next tip that i can give you guys is buying gatorade we are here at the gatorade facility it is located in like the back alley near docks and wheels and all that stuff we want to go inside the gatorade facility and i'm going to show you guys something really quickly all right if you guys, I forget what rep it is, I can't lie, I forget what rep it is, but once you get Gym Rat, I'm not sure what rep, man, I sound stupid, that might be SS2, it's been so long since I've equipped Gym Rat, alright, but Gym Rat gives you plus 4 to everything, if you guys are not SS whatever or higher, whatever Gym Rat is, you guys gotta do the daily workouts, right? daily workouts are comp, you do them one time, once a week, and you get the extra 4, hopefully if you do your workouts good, you get the plus 4 in every like stamp. You get the plus four in those categories, like the stamina, the vertical, all that stuff. But if you guys already have that, and if you don't, this Gatorade man in the orange shirt is a Hall of Fame scammer. Now, as you guys can see, for a pack of 10 Gatorade shoes, it costs 3,500 BC. Now, the average 2K player does not have that amount. You, my friend in the orange, looking at me with your hands on your hips, you, my friend, is a scammer. Nope. 
You are scamming! Like, fuck! I'm not buying your shits, respectfully. I would say buy Gatorade, but look, if you guys don't have the VC, don't buy Gatorade. I'm just being straight up. You have a better chance to win Gatorade off the spin the wheel than you do buying from that man's and coming out with, with you know what I'm saying, with some, with some VC in your account, man. Now, those are some tips and tricks that I can give you guys to become a better shooter, a more consistent shooter when it comes to NBA 2K21 current gen. Now that I showed you guys the tips and tricks to becoming the best shooter on the game it is time you know to show you guys the badges all right you gotta have the best badges in order to shoot the ball the badges are honestly the most important thing when it comes to these little things outside of the actual in game like on the court stuff so look i am legend so i get 35 shooting badges but i will show you guys what i would use if i was not legend all right now, I've been getting this question asked a lot in my streams or just on my videos and stuff. Clutch, what badges do you use? I'm here to show you what badges I use. All right, now, I'm going to show you guys first if I was not a legend. So, say I have 25 shooting badges. That is what this build gets before legend. I'm going to show you guys what I would use. First thing, Hall of Fame Raging Center, all right? Second thing, Hall of Fame High Zone Hunter. Third thing, Hall of Fame Green Machine. Hall of Fame Dead Eye. Now, we only have just a few more badges to put on. That's 4, 8, 12, 16, all right? We can put on nine more shooting badges, and then, um, yeah, that's all you get to use from. Now, catch and shoot, I really don't use it, um, but I do use it now that I am legend, all right? I am legend now, so that's why I do use it. Um, but the next badge that I would use is Clutch Shooter, alright? Clutch Shooter is a really good badge, you feel me? It says increases the ability to knock down shots in the clutch moments. So, like, if it's a super close game towards the end, you are more than likely going to make that shot if it is a white or, you know, green, a heavy contested shot. Now, the next badge I like to use is Flexible Release, okay? Flexible is a glitch, alright? Any white, that bitch is going in. I swear it goes in literally all the time, except for me. I I feel like flexible doesn't work for me, but I know other people that use it, like Double H Power. Every time I see them shoot a white, that thing goes in, bro. They make it all the time. It works, okay? Difficult Shots is another badge that I like to use, but since we only get 25, you know, I might put this flexible on silver, difficult shots on silver, or I'd go gold. Um, it just really depends what I'm feeling, to be honest. Um, I don't even need Clutch Shooter. I would use Flexible Hall of Fame. Then I'll do like Volume Shooter, Silver, and then I could do like Tireless Silver. And then I could do Difficult Shot Bronze. It really doesn't matter. It's really all up to you at the end of the day. But whenever I have my Legend badges, all 35 of them, shoot, I could then use literally every single badge, bro. Like... Seriously, like it doesn't matter. I can use whatever man. This is what I would run using my legend badges the 10 extra badges I got catch and shoot Hall of Fame clutch shooter Hall of Fame tireless silver volume shooter Hall of Fame and difficult shot bronze This is a uh, Huge advantage being a legend having all of these extra badges man But those are the badges that I would use when it comes to shooting all right make sure you guys have the exact same badges as me and once you do that you are set bro you are set to go play now look i'm about to give you guys the best jump shot on the game but before i do that i need everybody right now if you guys are not already bro drop a like click that subscribe button and make sure you guys go follow me on all of my social medias bro look nba 2k22 is coming up really soon if you guys want to be active on my twitter instagram tiktok I be active on all those social medias, all right? So make sure you guys go drop a follow. Turn on my notifications, bro. So you guys stay updated to everything I'm doing, all right? Now look, everything will be in the description below. So go to the description. It'll say follow me on all my social medias. Click on each link, follow me, drop a like. You guys can even DM me, bro. Y'all can DM me video ideas, whatever you guys want, bro. NBA 2K21 current gen is coming to an end, which I'm not going to lie. I am super excited for 22 to come out. We should be getting news here towards the end of July and August. You know what I'm saying? We got the demo at the end of August, and then September, the game drops. Man, I'm super excited. If you guys would like me to do any sort of NBA 2K22 or even VC giveaway for the beginning of the year, year let me know i'd be more than happy to do that like i said go follow me on twitter and instagram because that's what those giveaways would take place maybe a copy in a video but something like that make sure you guys go follow me and let me know is that a wrl idea bro because i'm all about giving back to you guys because 
you guys are the ones that always show love and support me every single day. I hope you guys are too, but without further ado, I think it is time to give you guys the best jump shot on NBA 2K21 current gen. Now that you guys have been watching the video all the way through, it is now time to give you guys the best jump shot on NBA 2K21. So we're going to go here to our jump shot creator. It is time, man. I've not given my jump shot out in three months. This is the jump shot that I've been using on every stream, on every video. This is the thing that I use right here, bro. Base 98, release one Larry Bird, release two Paul George, 3-4 speed, 50-50 blending. Right? I found this jump shot a little bit ago. I was just messing with releases. I like jump shot 98 and I like jump shot Dwayne Wade, right? I don't really know which one is better. I just like to go back and forth, you feel me? But, um, release one Larry Bird. I was thinking to myself that my shot needed more arc because, I don't know, my previous jump shots were just, like, flat. They just felt flat. So I put Larry Bird in there. It gives that high arc jump shot. And then Paul George. Paul George is a really good release. A lot of people like to use Paul George. I've used it in the past and it works out really good. And then the blending, 50-50, 3-4 speed. 3-4 speed is just the best. It is so much easier. It is so easy to time using 3-4 speed. So that is the jump shot right there. If you guys did make it to the very end, make sure you guys drop a like. And look, give this jump shot out. Try this jump shot out for a good day or so. Let me know how it is. Come back to the video and let me know how you guys used it, how it worked. If you guys went crazy, if you guys went bananas, let me know how this jump shot worked for you. Because look, <laughs> the jump shot goes crazy for me and I'm sure it'll go crazy for you. But that is it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, man, make sure you guys drop a like if you guys are excited for NBA 2K22, bro. Because I know I'm excited. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We are the road to 400k, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. But other than that, it's been your boy Clutch DF, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. Drunk texting my wifey, so I know I'll get a text back, nigga. 45 on my white tee, used to have the shit up on the dash, nigga. Got a lot on my psyche, on my mind, I ain't talking hats, nigga. Like I said on that siphy, when I train, I tend to overlap, niggas. Where them niggas wanna fight me, we grown, I don't really scratch.